Hi, Tyler. Uh, Kennedy Landry, MLB.com. Um, I guess, first of all, how's your rehab going? How's that going for you right now? Uh, everything's going good, um, you know, according to plan. Um, arm feels great, shoulder, elbow, everything. Um, I've been throwing for four weeks. I'm about to start week four or five of throwing, and it's been – everything's been good, so. What What – kind of drew you to the Rangers during free agency besides obviously winning a world series, but, you know, you know, discussions with CY and, you know, management and everything. How did that go for you? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we've always, I've always been drawn to, you know, um, Texas, Dallas. I've been there a few times and, um, you know, like to the city and um, at the, at the deadline, you know, they were, I knew they were trying to trade for me um, in 2022. Um, so, like that's when I really started kind of looking, looking into it and like, dang, this could be a good, you know, good fit. It's a good team. Um, and obviously that didn't happen, but they've always been on my radar. Um, and um, no, and then obviously, you know, they're started signing guys and, and spending money. And you, I mean, it's obvious they're trying to win, you know, they're trying to win now and they're making a big push for it. And then they won. Um, so, I mean, any, I think anyone would be crazy not to want to go, play for this team that you know um obviously is really good um and you know their focus is you know we're trying to win and trying to win the world series you know so i mean you you have to respect that and um yeah and then you know talking with them over zoom and um boach and uh, cy and um loved what they had to say so um it was a good fit thank you david yep Okay, we'll go to Evan Grant. Hi, Tyler. I was hey, muted about that. Um, so, can you? So, week five of your throwing program, like, how far are you throwing out to right now? Is that just still sixty feet of throwing? Correct. Yeah. Just 60 feet, a couple sets um, of 25. Um, super simple. Um, I'm curious, what what drew you to have Keith Meister do your surgery? Um, I mean, he's one of the best, you know, out there. I don't, I don't think it's any, it's a secret. Um and I mean, me and my agent, Matt McConnell, I mean, we did our research and um, other guys um, in our agency went to him and, and um, obviously knew that he did a good job. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was a pretty uh, simple decision. And he, he did his version of the procedure on you, right? I mean, you, you kind of got that internal brace as well. Correct. Okay. You're done, Evan? Uh, yeah, for right now. Okay, we'll go to Jeff Wilson. Hey, uh, Jeff Wilson with Rangers today. Hi. So when you are when you are pitching at your best, what are you doing well? I mean, I'm locating my fastball. Um, and that's, I mean, that's it right there. I'm able to throw my fastball um, up and in, you know, locate it in the zone, out of the zone. And then everything kind of falls off uh, or, you know, comes from that you know then they have to respect the splitter um and then the, the slider to righties um slider to lefties you know um if i'm stuffing the fastball in there and i throw a slider off that like it's it's tough to lay off that slider it, it's going to be out of the zone it's not going to be for a strike um so everything just comes off my fastball i mean um it's not a secret you know everyone knows that that's what i do you know um so, uh, but, but like I said, if I'm able to locate that, then that's, you know, when I'm at my best. Have, have you had an opportunity to talk with uh, Mike Maddox? And, uh, and I, I know you saw him when he was in St. Louis from across the dugout or the field. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you looking forward to working with him? No doubt. Um, I only talked to him a little bit um, when I was there last week. Um, didn't really, you know, it was just, we were just shooting the shit. Um, but I mean, 
Um, seems like a great guy, you know, um, don't, I haven't really like, I, like I said, I didn't really get to know him very much. I mean, obviously I saw him from across the diamond, um, when he was in St. Louis, like you said, but, um, never really, never really got to know him or anything, but just chatted with him a little bit. And, um, yeah, I mean, um, I like him. He seems like a great guy and I think we're gonna get along great. Okay. Thanks. Stephen Stevenson. Hey, Stephen Stevenson with the Inside the Rangers. Um, I, I'm curious, going into free agency uh, with the surgery, uh, did, were you a little apprehensive about how teams would, uh, how, how interest would be uh, coming off the surgery? So not really. Um, talking with Meister when I got the surgery, he said, I mean, this is a clear cut, you know, uh, surgery, like no one's scared of it anymore in this in, in, uh, industry. Um, you know, so he, I mean, he gave me confidence that no one was really going to be scared to sign me to a two year deal. Um, and we knew that's what we were looking at, um, just from guys in the past. Um, so, I mean, yeah, he, he made us feel, you know, comfortable that this wasn't gonna, you know, um, it wasn't gonna be hard to find a team. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, that you, you appreciated Dallas and the area before. What, what, what about the, the area and DFW in general and Arlington uh, have you liked? Yeah, so um, we went into town and we, w we watched the, um, the Stars game. We went to a Stars, you know, um, hockey game and uh, went and ate. I mean, we saw the, you know, restaurants and everything. And me and my wife, you know, we – that's what we like to do in, in every city is like find, you know, our favorite restaurant and everything. So um, there were some good restaurants and, and bars and good nightlife. And um, I mean, I'm not, a, you know, partier, but I mean, it's fun to, you know, know that it's there if, you know, you have to entertain someone or whatever, you know, it's not a dead city. Um, so um, that, that was pretty much it. Just a couple of times that I went there. All right, we'll go back to Kennedy. I'm just curious, and I'm, this might be kind of a stupid question, but how frustrating was it after you got traded to Minnesota, kind of going through the the couple of injuries you did, not really being able to probably make the impact that you wanted after they traded for you there? Yeah, that sucked um, a lot. Um, yeah, you get traded to a team that's, you know, in the playoff hunt and – you're not able to help out, you know, and then to put the, uh, I don't know if this is a good expression, but to put the cherry on top, then next year, um, the team's a team that's going to, you know, obviously make the playoffs. I mean, we had, we, I mean, we're a very good team um, that I'm not able to contribute to that team either. So it was very, you know, frustrating. And um, I mean, that's a, that's the only way to put it. I mean, there's, all, all you want to do as a, you know, an athlete is compete. And then when you get a chance to do that for a team, uh, for a good team that's going to make the playoffs and, you know, could make a push, um, you're not able to, you know, go out and compete. Um, so, and when I was, I wasn't able to do it, you know, like, like I wanted to, you know, I was, uh, I was hurt. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was super frustrating. Just, um, logistics you only this is your first Tommy John correct right okay awesome. thank you Tyler. okay we'll go to Lawrence Dow Lawrence uh forward star telegram I was just wondering did your injury have any impact on your free agency in any way or how did it impact it in terms of like, um in terms of what Oh, sorry. In terms of just like signing with the Rangers versus like how did your injury decide? Did, did your injury have any impact on where you wanted to go? Well, this is one of the teams that I wanted to go to um, from the get go. It wasn't like, you know, this was um, the best fit out of, you know, the teams that gave us offers or whatever. It was like this was one of the places I wanted to end up. Um, but um, so it ended up, you know, it. I think the only thing it impacted was, you know, the contract, like um, usually like a guy with TJ, I think you're only going to get like, you're going to get a two year deal. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's really, 
yeah, the only thing. Like, um, I don't know what what other way to put. I don't know another way to put it. You know, like uh, I wanted to come here. Um, they were interested in me. They told me they were interested in me for a long time. So, um, I mean, the the only thing that really impacted was you know what the contract looked like. Okay, back to Evan Grant. So, Tyler, you did have other two-year offers on the table? Correct. And how do you uh, – kind of how do you look at – I mean, I think from the Rangers' perspective, clearly, you know, come the second half, you'd be a great addition. But clearly, you know, this contract is is looked at like 2025 – They've got they've got a steal of a pitcher. How do you kind of look at the progression of, of of what you need to do for this club um, over the next two years? Um, I mean, how, what what do you uh, what do you mean? What are you asking? You, you know, the second year following TJ, guys are usually a lot sharper than they are. Right. Um, you feel like I. I it's a bad choice of words, but do you feel like anything you give them this year is going to end up being kind of gravy? Um, I mean, I think we all, you know, expect me to come back this year. And, um, I mean, I expect myself to come back this year, um, in the second half, um, sometime, not sure on what that time, look, what timeline looks like. I mean, I've never gone through TJ and through this whole process. So who knows how my, elbow and everything will respond but I mean I'm pretty confident that I'll be back at some point this year um and you know perform the way I think I should perform um and then you know go into the off season and and then have a normal year in 2025 um it's not uh, I mean it's pretty simple and clear cut to me um my yeah, my goal is to come back this year and you know hit the ground running. So I don't know. I don't know if that answers your question. No, it uh, answers <laughs> perfectly. No, it really does. That's, yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah, Jeff Wilson. Um, uh, I mean, it, it, based on what you said earlier, missing out on the chance to to participate in the postseason and and to um you know have a chance to help help the twins there in that that series against the the Astros um how much does the the, the desire to win fuel you I mean I, I know everybody wants to win but it seems like having missed that chance might make that more of a um motivator for you definitely and I mean I'm I don't think I lack motivation um but um, but definitely that that's gonna fuel you know this whole rehab process to get back and um obviously you know um fortunate enough to you know be on a team that's gonna make the playoffs and be good and be good for a long time so um um you know positive that I'll have that chance again and um gonna do you know everything to uh, be able to uh, be there and perform and compete. Hey. I know it's easy to say about a team that just won the World Series, but you said a team that's going to be good for a while. Was is that is that the consensus thought in the game about the Rangers right now? That just looking at the way they're built, that this team's going isn't going anywhere. Uh, I mean, that's what it looks like, right? I mean, I haven't, you know, I don't know what how everyone else feels, but the way I feel is, you know, you got you already have a team that's you know the best in baseball right now. And then you got some young guys coming up and then you get a front office that obviously wants to win, you know, and they're going out and getting guys and, you know, trying to be better, even though they just won the world series, you know, they're not, they're not, um, you know, fine with where they're at. Um, I mean, the, the, I think, I don't know what day it was whenever like other teams could call us, um, I want to say, I could be wrong, but I want to say it was the day, it was the morning after the World Series. And my agent said, Hey, the Rangers called to check in and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, 
this should all be hung over right now. Like no one should even be awake. <laughs> and they were the first team, they were the first team to call, you know? So, I mean, that just shows you like they're, they're hungry and they want to win and they want to win right now. And they want to win for a long time. So, and I think it's pretty obvious. Awesome. Thanks. Any other questions before we let Tyler go? All right. Thanks for joining us, Tyler. Welcome to the club, and we look forward yep. to all seeing you soon. Merry all Christmas. right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tyler. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Thanks.